I shouldn't have had her do that just before I'm preaching. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really awesome. I got everybody crying here, and I'm going to start trying to preach. <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> that was really a touching word. That's one of my favorite songs. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's one of my... it really <laughs> talks a lot about shaking off your past. Amen. Amen. Shaking off. Let your heart beat again. Amen. Let your heart beat again. Get it, get it activated. Get it moving. Get the heart moving forward. I mean, you can you can just set, set yeah. so much on yesterday. Yeah. You can focus so much on yesterday, what was. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know, it's good to be thinking about the future, but, you know, sometimes you sh people are so far in the future that they're not really focusing on the present. Yeah. And there is a verse that says, today is the day. Today is the day. Can you say with me? Today is the day. Salvation. And now... Now, come on, say now. Now is the time. time of God's favor. Now is the time of God's favor. There's now time for us. Well, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll get my life going good. No, no today, baby. Amen. Today. Today is my day. Today Amen. is my day. I got my name on this day. Actually, I got Jesus' name on this day through me. So it's God. God, I just thank you for your word today. I thank you for the activation of truth into every heart and every soul, God. We just thank you for life transformation. God, we just thank you that the old is gone. Gone. And the new has come. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Amen. 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 The title of the message is Fill the Holes of Your Story. Fill the holes of your story. There's a, a couple negative thought patterns here about your story. Because your life is a story. It's a story. It's a journey. And through your life, your story has holes in it. There's places still to fit in what's going to happen. And one, a lot of people don't think that God is big enough to work their story, so they jump in and they do it on their own. They do it on their own. There's two lopsided kitty wampus thought patterns. And one of them... One of them is that I'm going to have to do this story because nobody else is doing the story, so I got to do this story. And so they jump in and they start trying to do their story on their own. And there's a huge problem with that. Huge problem with that. And that is you smother yourself with dysfunction. You smother yourself with dysfunction and a lot of discouragement because you're doing it on your own. The other one, the other thought pattern, I'm just giving it all to God about my story. I, I just giving it to, to Jesus. It's your story, God. Here you go. <laughs> God's speaking to you and saying, this is what I want you to do about your story. And you're just sitting here, doo -doo 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 -doo, disobeying hard heart, oh, man. not listening to the Lord because, hey, I gave him God my story. So here you go, God. Just take my story. I'm tired of it. Take it, God. Do something with it. And you're giving it to God, but you're not partnering with God. And here's what God wants to do. Is he wants you to surrender your story to him, but he wants you to come along with him in the story. A lot of people think, well, I just don't know what I can do about this story. It's just going to unfold. My life is just going to unfold. And this story, this momentum, it's like a train wreck ready to happen. And we that's what we think sometimes. 
So I'm just going to have to just try to endure this train wreck with no brakes. <laughs> Crash into the one of the holes of my story. And here we go. We got yeah. devastation here. We got mm -hmm. devastation here on the story. And so we're getting really frustrated about our story. But what God is wanting to do is he wants you to know that with you and him, you can change. You can change the destiny of your life That's and right. your story. Amen. Instead of saying, well, I'm just going to let this story unfold and it's going to do its thing. No, I'm partnering with God. I surrender to you, Jesus. I'm coming along with you and I'm wanting you to help me in this story. Because I want this one to be good. And yes, I've had a lot of frustrations. I've, one of the chapters I've been stuck on is the horror chapter. I, I've been reading my story and this is the horror chapter. Or you're, you're stuck on the, on the dysfunction chapter. And, and you're, or you're, you're stuck... You're stuck on the depression chapter. And God is going, <clears throat> that's what was in your story. Your story had some of those elements. And I'm still going to use those. I'm still going to use those. I'm using your horror chapter. And I'm using your dysfunction chapter. I'm using your depression chapter. I'm using those chapters, and, but I, I want to do something great with the rest of your life. Will you love me? Will you come along with me? And will you partner with me so this chapter can, this book, That's good. That's good. this story can have an amazing ending? Amen. Amen. Yes. A flourishing, yeah. a flourishing end to this book. Yeah. You're not at the end of your book yet. There's a lot left in your story. Amen. There's a lot left. But why don't we come along with God and see God do the miraculous with this story? Because we can change with God. We can change the course of the rest of this story and we can make it supernatural, amazing, great, who agrees with me on this? Come on. Amen. So I, I don't want to just go, well, you know, I'm divorced. Uh, I've been stuck in the same job for 17 years. And, you know, My just. Mom. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. And you just kind of just can get stuck. Have the stuck mode. And God don't want nobody to be in a stuck mode mode Amen. because he wants your story to be grand Amen. so there's holes in your story there's holes in your story there's holes in my story i want jesus to come in with Amen. me i want him to fill this hole with his greatness i want him to fill this hole with faith Amen, Pastor. Amen. I, I i've had this part of my story i, I had some depression and lack of faith and fear. I had some fear in this story. And I, the hole here, instead of putting some of what I've had before, putting it in there, putting more fear in, in this next hole, I'm going to put faith. I'm going to put his word in that place. I'm going to get that in the right position. The, the word story is an account or events of someone's life. Hmm. Your story is a testimony. Your story is great. Yes. Don't let just time keep on ticking into the future. Keep on ticking. And we're just not being obedient. We're not surrendering to the Lord. We're not walking in his will. We're still stuck with the things that we've done before in the horror chapter and the depression chapter 
and all the discouraging chapters. And we just kind of bring in the momentum of the negative into the holes and fill in those gaps with the same old, same old. God doesn't want that. He wants us to fill it with something fresh and alive and new. And yes. you and God can do it. Amen. You and God can do it. Amen. It doesn't have to be a train wreck ready to happen. Amen. It can be something great. And that's what God wants. It says in Isaiah 55, 21. It says in Isaiah 50, excuse me, 55, 11. It says, so is my word. That goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty. It will not return to me empty. But will accomplish. Can you say accomplish? Accomplish. He started something great when we're getting his word in place in the hole in our story. He's getting his word in that place. It will accomplish what I desire and achieve. Can you say achieve? Achieve. achieve. It's going to achieve the purpose. Can you say purpose? purpose? It's going to achieve the purpose. See, God has got, there's some great words here. Accomplish, achieve, purpose. His word, putting it in place. Put it in the hole, one of the holes in your story. It says in Psalm 107, verse 2, Let the redeemed of the Lord say this. Amen. So. Come on. What I desire. Come on. It says, Those he redeemed from the hand of my foe. Amen. Yes. He redeemed you from the hand of your foe. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, I'm a champion. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, I, With God we got this. It's going some good places. Yeah, I don't have are. to just let the negative momentum mm. take my story and the end of my life. I didn't let God do anything that he wanted to do. I surrendered it all to him and I did nothing. I sat there hard-hearted like a lump. And God doesn't want that. He wants us to come with him and walk in obedience. Yes. And he says, Bryce, change this. Change your thoughts here. Forgive. Forgive here. Mm. Have a, have a new heart. Don't be stuck yeah. with your old Bryce. Don't walk in those things. Walk in new. Yeah. Walk in new. Be reinvented in your Amen. vessel. Amen. Reinvented in Christ Jesus. Amen. God's called us to some great things. Amen. Amen. Change the course of your story for God's glory. Amen. Change the course of your story for God's glory. Amen. So God's desire is for each one of us. Your story is not just a negative momentum with no way to stop. It's true. Some people just feel, well, I'm just Job Jr. <laughs> I'm just Job Jr. just the way it is. I've heard a lot of people say that before. It's like this lady said, I'm Job Ed. <laughs> I'm just Job Ed. But they didn't read the last part of the book. Right. All of a sudden, in the last part of Job, it says that he got double yeah. blessing. He did. He, did. he got double blessing in his life. Mm. Yeah, the first part of his story didn't sound very good. And nobody wanted to mm. go through what Job went through. <laughs> but the last part of it, he got double for his trouble blessing. He did. He did. Blessing. Amen. And so that's where his attitude, his response to God was was an attitude he didn't curse God. Yeah. He didn't yeah. curse God. His yeah. wife even said, curse God and die. Yeah. Curse God and die. He did not curse God. He kept his heart in a position to receive. And that's what God wants us to keep our heart in a position to receive. Amen. Yes, he did. Are you hearing me today? Yeah. Yeah. Hearing the word, word of God today? Yeah. I'm speaking yeah. back at myself on the same thing because that's what God wants from our life. So, instead of a screwed up chapter, it's time for a blessed chapter. Amen. Amen. A blessed chapter to come and start filling some of these holes with blessing, mm. faith, mm. eternal optimism. Put them in those places. Amen. 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 Amen.
Don't let fear control your story. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. Right. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. Hebrews 11, 6. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Amen. God is Two calling you and I to put faith in the, in the holes of our story. Put faith in there. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Let's get faith in those positions. We get those in the rightful place. I'm just putting faith in there. I'm just speaking the word of God in there. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. It makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on the heights. Start getting the word of God. Get it moving and stirring inside of you. Speak it out. Speak it out. I can soar on wings like eagles. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Amen? Yes. Come on, just getting, right. getting the word of God in those places. Get them moving and activated in our life. Fill your story with God's... I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. Fill your story with that. He can do exceedingly, abundantly, above. All yeah. of Ask or imagine according to his power yes. to work within me. Getting it yes. moving inside of our life. Yes. Hebrews 10, 22 and verse 23 says, Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience, and having our lives or bodies washed with pure water of the word of God. And then it says in Hebrews at 10.23, let us hold unswervingly mm -hmm. to the yes. hope we profess, for yes. he who promised is faithful. Yes. Amen. Let yes. us hold unswervingly. That's right. yeah. My story, yes. it was messed up back here. Yeah. But I'm holding on to the word of God, yes. and I'm yes. letting it yeah. come in its rightful place. Yes. There's a, a movie I watched a long time ago, and this this guy was a firefighter, and he was out on duty, and he got a call, him and his team got a call, for an address of a fire at this house. And he looked twice, and he said, that's my address. That's my home address. So they rushed on the scene, and they got there. And so he runs into the house and he's pulling the, the water hoses and getting him in there and spraying things down. And, and he's looking for his wife and, and his son. Mm. Looking for him. And That's good. ended up, he went in the, the long route in the house. And by the time he found the, his wife and son, mm. they had just died. They had just died. And so the movie progresses years later. He never remarried. Didn't have a son anymore. Son. And he's living a lonely life. And there was a time machine. And in the time machine, he could have one blessing. He can, he can go back in his past to do one thing. One thing. So what do you what did you want? And he said, I want to go back to that fire. I want to go back. So he did. He, he he was boom, there he was. And he went in the short route in the house. Instead of going the long way through, he went right to where they were. Yeah. And saved both of them. Saved both of them. Pulled them out of the fire. Right where they were. And then it shows uh, years in his life. He's ha happy. He's got his wife and son. You know, we can't go back. We can't go back and, and do that. You know, we can't go back and go, man, I, a lot of people go, I wish I could go back and change this. And there's probably a lot of things you wish 
that I could change in my story. I wish I could go back and do this. I know this. It would have been a lot different if I would have did that. If I would have gone all out for Jesus when I should have. Or, or I, yeah, if I wouldn't have gotten good. involved with drugs. Or, or for this relationship that I had and I, and I just blew through it. Whatever it is. But what you can do now is what's important. Amen. What you can do now Amen. is right. you can say, you know what? I'm going to change something from right now. And the rest of this story, for God's glory, mm -hmm. is going to shine bright. And there is going to be some divine direction throughout the process of the rest of this life. And God is going to be glorified through my life. Mm -hmm. And my life is going to be impacted, powerfully impacted for Christ. Right. Because of my decision. Today you could walk away from here and go, you know what? I, I'm not going to listen to this pastor, what he has to say. Uh, right you can say, I'm just doing my thing. You know, I've given it to God. I've given it to try. And he didn't seem to do nothing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but cool. but uh, what you need to do is you need to partner with him. Amen. Partner with him. And then when he speaks to tell you something, respond. Yeah. Amen. Respond. And then let's see God. Do yes. something great Amen. Right for the on. rest of our life. That's right. Instead of like me speaking this message 10 years from now, you swing back into church and I, I'm speaking the same message. You go, Man, I should have listened 10 years ago. I should have listened to that a long time. Let's take this today. Let's just be obedient vessels. Let's be people who said, I'm taking it from here with God. Me and God are going to win. And we're going to change together. We're going to change the course and the destiny of my life. And it's going to impact like I've never imagined my life to impact. Yeah, Amen. 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 This caterpillar, it's interesting, a, a caterpillar turning from a, into a butterfly. Uh, I read this little article. And this caterpillar is like in a glob of goo. He's in a glob of goo, wrapped with a blanket. I like it. <laughs> wrapped with a blanket. Yeah. And so here's this caterpillar. So here's the story so far. Here's this little worm. Here's this worm. And this, this worm Preach is it, wrapped worm. with goo. Preach wow, it. what a testimony. My whole life is great. I'm a worm and wrapped with goo. Guess what? There's more to the story. Yeah. There's more to the story. Yeah. Something great is going to happen. And you just got, you got to stay with it. One of the holes that's coming up in the story is a transformation. Transformation to a beautiful butterfly. A lot of people go like, I just been stuck in goo. I just, this has just been my life. I've just been wrapped a blanket and I'm just a goo ball <laughs> instead of a goofball. <laughs> I'm a goo ball. But see, God, God just wants you to know that, that the rest of your story is something grand, something great. Amen. But you're not seeing it right now because you've been stuck in the goo in the process. But God's bringing you along. Who's with me so far? We're coming through this. Amen. Yeah. Coming through the goo. Coming Amen. through the goo. Amen. And we're going to fly. Amen. We're going to fly. Great things are ahead for each one of us. Uh, process our life. Our success is inevitable. Amen. It's inevitable. Yes, it is. We're invincible in Jesus. Amen. And we, in Him we are. Invincible. Oh, yeah. We're, our body's going to die, but we are invincible. Amen. Our spirit is going to live forever. That's right. Amen. Forever. Ever. And ever. The devil can't destroy what's inside. Amen. He can he can he can try to attack the shell. Yeah. That's about it. He, he might want might want to hit the shell. He might want to get me to just not do anything. But you know what? What's inside of me is eternal and what's inside of you is eternal. Amen. Right. The day you've accepted That's Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior was the first day of eternal life. Amen. That's true. 
first day of eternal life. Mm -hmm. It's not just, well, someday, someday I'm going to have eternal life. No, eternal life started the day you said, Jesus, be my Lord and my Savior. I surrender to you. I give my life to you. Amen. Turn from my sin. I no longer want to try to put myself number one. Jesus, be Lord. Be my supreme authority. Amen. Be the leader, guider of my life. I Amen. surrender to you, Jesus. You, Here's my life. Do something with it, please, Lord. And, and forgive me of my sins. Yes. And then God will take that life. Eternal life starts right then. Amen. 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 I was taught by my father when, when I was ready to take a driver's test to be able, when I was 16, to be able to get a, my little car and start driving down the road. I was, I was taught by my dad. He said that when a car at night is coming your way and they have their brights on and they're not turning their brights off, you know what you do? You flash your brights at them and flash it back off, but you try to get them to realize they got the brights on. Now, some people don't give a rip and they keep their brights on. Yeah. And my dad said, if they keep their brights on, what you're supposed to do, son, is look at the white line yeah. to the right yeah. and focus that. Don't look at the center line. Don't look at the center line. Look at the white line and drive and stay close to the white line and just keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. And so instead of being blinded yeah. by the light. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. Instead of being blinded, you are you're lining yourself up with the white line. The white line here in this illustration represents the Word of God. Mm. Represents the Word of God. Line yourself up. When all of a sudden the devil's trying to trying to get you blinded of the truth, truth he's trying to mess with yeah. you, he's trying to get you to crash, trying to get you off course, get you to just totally lose it with your life. You just line yourself up and you're saying, I'm staying true to the Good. straight line Good. of the Word of God. Good. Staying true yes. to that, I'm going to stay locked in to that and drive right past what was going to try to take me off course. That's right. Amen. It's going to and take me out. God is calling you and I, calling us to get our life lined up with the Word so Amen. that we fill that place, those holes in our story, we fill them with the Word of God. Amen. We get things in proper place. We're in God alignment. We're in God alignment. Hmm. We're staying true to it. I told Jesus that when I was 19, no more excuses. I'm going to serve you to the finish and beyond. Amen. And the finish is when I die, but beyond, I'm still living. Right. Beyond. So Amen. I'm, I'm serving God to the finish and beyond. No more excuses. Amen. So I'm lining myself up with the white line, and I'm not going to let the devil pull me off course. I'm not going to let my yeah. frustrations about my own life pull me off course. Yeah. I'm not going to try to do this on my own anymore. I tried it on my own. It doesn't work well. Hmm. That's called Mickey Mouse Ministries. <laughs> when I do it myself. My son used to say, I do it myself, Dad. And he burns himself on the fire. Ah! And I said, son, I told you not to touch the fire. And he said, I do it myself. Ah! Why didn't you tell me, Dad? I did. I told you. But I did it. I, I used to do it myself. Mickey Mouse Ministries doesn't work. <laughs> I've tried, I tried it on my own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, it's encouraging for us. Just encourage you today. Is get yourself lined back up with the word. Hey, there's some more holes in your story coming. There's a lot left in your book. There's a lot left in your book. It's, it's, it's a good story. In fact, reading your book. Is, is actually entertaining. Mm -hmm. 
there's there's a lot of things that <laughs> is in your book that's not in anybody else's. That's right. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a unique book, a unique story, and for God's glory, you're coming through it. You might have been in the horror chapter. You got the horror chapter, you got the confused chapter, you got all the chap those chapters. But you're still standing. You're still walking with God. Amen. Here you are in the house of God again. Yes, you know? we are. And so God just wants you to know that that He's gonna fill, He's gonna fill those holes with Himself. And He wants you to know that our part is is to fill it with faith. Amen. Start filling it with faith, not fear. There's a lot of fear. People have a lot of fear right now. With what's going on out there? We're just going to fill our holes with faith. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen? I just want to encourage you with that. I'm going to close with one more little story and one more verse. Hebrews 10.39 says... But we're not one of those who shrink back and are destroyed. But one of those who believe and are saved. Amen. We believe and are saved. How many shrink backers do we have in the house today? I don't see any. We're not, we're not called to shrink back. We're called to believe and we're saved. And if God's calling us to a new resolve inside of us. Our story is a beautiful story for God's glory. For God's glory. And he's going to do something great. You know, on the news, you know, I really am not watching the news. And at one point I was. I'm a pastor. I want to just kind of keep up with things. What's going on? And God told me, at least for this season, I don't want you, I don't want you to be looking at the news on, on what's going on. And and I, I heard I heard a pastor say, um, that the same company, the, the same company that's speaking their story about what's, ha what's happening is the same ones that's selling you the drugs that yeah. you have to take yeah. because you're depressed. That's right. The same company. Wow. So it's like, here, if you decide you're going to listen to the story of the news... I'm not telling anybody that don't at all watch the news. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying don't get consumed with it. Yeah. Don't get consumed with okay. it. Because what happens is you're, you're listening to the story, the negative stories out there, and then what you're doing is you're forming, you're forming what's going to fill your hole. That's right. You're forming, <laughs> life's tough. I don't know if we're going to make I it. Can't, I can't do this. Yep. You know, all the different different things that's trying to fill that with fear. That's right. And then the same companies are selling you the drugs yeah. to take. <laughs> Afterwards, it's like, hello. Yeah. Why do I want to listen to that? That's right. <laughs> Push back. Right here. They make up the stories. In <laughs> the greatest, yeah. The greatest story in the history of ever yeah. is right here. It's the word of God. That's right. The greatest story. Why not? Why not us? Get right in here and form our story with God. Form our story. The word of God in us. The greatest story ever that God pursued man. He created man. He created you, and we turned our back on him. Adam and Eve sinned, and all of a sudden the sin nature came in them. But God wasn't through with them. He still loved them so much, he started to figure out a game plan, how he could redeem man and turn him back to a position of blessing and future and eternal life, and he did it by sending his one and only son. Amen. So this is a love pursuit book. Yes. God pursued you. Amen. Though you, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. While we were yet sinners, he died for us. 
And he pursued you and he pursued me to the point of giving his very best, yeah. his one and only son for you, yeah. that you would be able to start developing your story, filling those holes, filling those yes. places with his greatness Praise God. and his favor. Would you stand with me today? Amen. Who's, who yes. received this word today? Amen. Can you give God some praise today? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give us some praise. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we just call forth what isn't as though it is. We just ask, Lord, that you would just bless your people today. We're going to fill, Lord, those holes, those storylines with how good God is. How amazing his presence is yes. and what Jesus has done for us. We thank you for your amazing love for us. And Lord God, I'm sorry that there's been quite a lot of time in my life that I missed out what could have been because of my choices. And I thank you for forgiveness. Amen. I thank you for forgiving me. Say that you're faithful and just to forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness when I confess my sins to you. Yes, God. And you take my life and you do something great with it. And I thank you for that. I just call forth blessing into your people. I pray that our story, our story would not just be a story filled with kin consistent inconsistency. But Lord, I pray that the story would start having an impact of divine turnaround in each one of our life and we become the man of God and the woman of God that you've called us to be to new levels. We just thank you for that blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. God, your word is so good. Hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. God, we thank you for your love and your grace into each one of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Can you give amen. God one more, one more praise? Thank you, Jesus. Great seeing everybody. It started out like a few people, and all of a sudden now we're good and full. So it's great seeing everybody here.